All right, quick question. What's the most popular combo in the fitness world? Protein and oats? Chicken and rice? Gym selfies and flexing in bad lighting? Nope. Creatine plus caffeine. The dream team. Until science shows up like, hold up, not so fast. Before we get into the juicy details, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Not only will it make your muscles grow by 0.01% instantly, not really, but it also tells YouTube you actually like learning about supplements that won't waste your money or make your kidneys cry. So stick around, because today we're talking about two of the most powerful and misunderstood for performance enhancers out there, creatine and caffeine. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use them for maximum gains without sabotaging yourself. Let's be honest, most of us just throw creatine and caffeine into our system and hope for the best. You've got your scoop of creatine in the morning pre-workout, your iced coffee, maybe an energy drink for dessert, and you think, more energy, more muscle, more gains, right? Well, maybe not. Because as it turns out, these two supplements might not play nice together. In fact, caffeine might actually block or reduce the effects of creatine if you take them at the same time. So before you chug that triple espresso with your creatine shake, let's dive into what's actually happening inside your body. Section one, what creatine actually does. Creatine is like your body's backup power generator. When your muscles are running out of energy during a heavy lift or sprint, Creatine jumps in to recharge your system, giving you those extra reps, faster recovery, and that I could lift a car feeling. It's one of the most researched and effective supplements ever. Studies show it increases muscle strength and power, helps build lean muscle mass, improves recovery between workouts, and even supports brain function, especially when you're tired or sleep deprived. Yep, creatine helps your brain too. So technically, when you forget your gym bag, it's not the creatine's fault. That's still on you. Section two, why caffeine is also awesome, but tricky. Now let's talk about the other half of this love-hate relationship. Caffeine is the world's favorite ergogenic aid, which is just a fancy word for stuff that makes you perform better. It boosts alertness, reduces fatigue, and even makes workouts feel easier. That's why it's in almost every pre-workout supplement on the planet. It's basically legal rocket fuel for your nervous system. But here's where things get interesting. Caffeine and creatine might be working against each other when taken together. Wait, hold up. You're telling me the two most popular gym supplements might cancel each other out? Yep, it's like mixing Superman and kryptonite, powerful on their own, but kind of a disaster together. Let's look at what the research actually says. Section three, the 1996 study. Back in 1996, a group of scientists decided to see what happens when you mix creatine and caffeine. They took a bunch of well-trained athletes, not couch potatoes, and gave one group creatine, another caffeine, and tested their muscle strength using knee extension torque, basically how much force their quads could produce. The results? The caffeine group showed worse performance than the creatine group like, noticeably worse. And the researchers scratched their heads and went, huh, maybe caffeine is interfering with creatine's benefits. Since then, multiple studies have found similar results. Caffeine may blunt the effects of creatine on strength and power output. Not exactly the kind of energy combo you want before leg day. Section four, the 2022 study, updating the science. Fast forward to 2022, because hey, Science never stops flexing. A newer study took 60 participants and split them into three groups. Creatine only. Caffeine only, creatine plus caffeine together. They all trained for several weeks, lifting weights while their muscle size and strength were measured. And guess what? The creatine only group gained solid muscle and strength. The creatine plus caffeine group, basically no gains. Their muscles said, nah, we're good. So yeah, once again, caffeine seems to block the benefits of creatine when taken at the same time. The researchers suspected it had to do with how caffeine affects muscle relaxation and hydration, possibly messing up how creatine works inside your cells. 
Now, before you panic and start flushing your coffee down the toilet, don't. You don't have to choose between your morning caffeine fix and your creatine gains. You just need to be smart about it. Stick with me, because next we're breaking down exactly how to take both safely and when. Section 5. How to take creatine and caffeine properly. Here's the good news. You can absolutely take both. You just need to space them out. Research suggests that separating them by four to six hours helps prevent interference. For example, take creatine in the morning with breakfast or right after your workout. Then have your caffeine later in the day or vice versa. This allows your body to fully absorb and use creatine without caffeine messing up the process. Also, timing matters. Creatine post-workout seems to have the best effect, especially when combined with carbohydrates or protein. That combo boosts insulin, which helps your muscles soak up creatine more efficiently. So yeah, skip the creatine with coffee trend. Go with creatine and carbs, not creatine and caffeine. Section 6, how to boost creatine absorption. Bonus tips. Want to supercharge your creatine absorption? Here's how the pros do it. Pair it with carbs. Carbs spike insulin, which helps push creatine into your muscles. Think bananas, rice, or even a sports drink. Add protein. A post-workout shake with protein and creatine is basically muscle magic. Stay hydrated. Creatine pulls water into your muscles, which is great for fullness and performance, but if you're not drinking enough, you'll feel sluggish or even crampy. Consistency over timing. Don't overthink the perfect hour. Just take your three five grams daily, every day. Skipping days is what actually hurts results. Section seven, common myths. All right, let's bust some myths because fitness forums are full of bad advice. Creatine causes bloating. Nope, it draws water into your muscles, not your stomach. That puffiness you see is actually muscle hydration, a good thing. Caffeine and creatine destroy your kidneys. Unless you're drinking 20 coffees and 30 grams of creatine a day, please don't, your kidneys are fine. You have to cycle creatine. Nope again, it's not a steroid. You can take it long-term safely. The only real myth that's kinda true is, don't mix caffeine and creatine at the same time. That one? Yeah, science backs it up. If you're still watching, First of all, you're awesome. Second, drop a comment below saying, no more coffee creatine combo. So I know you're part of the smart supplement crew. Creatine is one of the most effective supplements for muscle strength, recovery, and even brain performance. Caffeine is an amazing energy booster that improves endurance and focus. But taking them together may cancel out the benefits of creatine, especially for muscle growth and power. To get the best of both worlds, separate them by at least four to six hours. Take creatine post-workout. Workout with carbs or protein. Stay hydrated and be consistent. Follow those steps and you'll be getting the benefits of both without the drawbacks. So the next time someone mixes their creatine into their morning coffee, just smile and say, ah yes, the science-backed way to waste both supplements at once. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more fitness science explained with minimal nonsense and maximum gains, and share this with your gym buddy who drinks three monsters a day. Remember, smart supplementation beats random stacking every time. I'll see you in the next video, where we might just talk about why your pre-workout makes you feel like you're vibrating into another dimension. Stay strong, stay smart, and don't forget, Space out your creatine and caffeine.